<laughs> oh. What? What are you guys doing here? That's a bit weird. Well, anyways, since you're here, let's talk about Portal. The Portal series are two of my favorite games ever. So when I saw the announcement that Portal 2 was getting a VR mod, you could say I was a little bit excited. And in this video, we're going to find out how well the mod works and if it's worth you downloading it. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Like I said, Portal 2 is now fully playable from start to finish in virtual reality. Installing was a breeze. You just simply download, click and drag the files from one folder to another, and you're good to go. So I I know you guys already know that Portal 2 is an amazing game. It came out over 12 years ago and it's been praised time and time again for its puzzles, writing and comedy. I found some bird eggs up here, just dropped them into the door mechanism, shut it right down. Like, oh Jesus. Bird, 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 bird. And with the VR mod you get all of that, plus it feels like you're actually standing in Aperture. The mod has exactly what you'd expect from any VR title. Six degrees of freedom, the controls are great, when you grab something it tracks to your hand and not your head, and being able to pick up and look at all of these characters and objects in detail is pretty cool. Personally, I love the turrets and I think they're really adorable, even if the game punished me for it multiple times. Oh no! You okay there? Can we save you? I got you, buddy! Oh no! Who's this guy? You defective. You are different. I can't pick him up. No! Is there something I can drop him on? No! Hey buddy, how'd you get out? Oh no! Poor little bugger. Let's go, Cube. No! I think that one was about to say. I love you. Oh, you're such a jerk. Wow. I mean, they really need to do some maintenance on this place. Anyways, the mod actually got some really small but important details right. For example, at multiple points, the game asks you to look at or look away from something, and you actually have to physically look away with your head, otherwise it won't work. That's a pretty cool detail. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? It actually does do it. But how does the game feel in VR, I hear you ask? Well, in my opinion, it feels great. I was a bit worried that flying through portals would be a bit janky in VR, but it was actually super fun. The mod actually makes it so you always go through portals upright, which was a bit odd at first, but I assume they added it to lessen the chances of you getting motion sick. And I really feel it doesn't take away from the experience at all. Personally, I think it would be quite funny to have this as a feature you could toggle on and off just to see how crazy it would be flipping about in VR. From what people were saying in the flat to VR Discord at one point, Valve actually considered making a VR version of Portal 2 themselves, but they trashed it because their playtesters got too motion sick. Now, I don't know how weak the playtesters' stomachs were, but after having played through the whole game on stream, I never got motion sick once. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not disorienting at all. I've now actually played through the whole game in VR and I can say that I thoroughly enjoyed the experience. Let me tell you, there's something special about flying through the air and placing portals quickly to complete a puzzle that just hits a really good sweet spot in my brain. Oh shoot. Now we're thinking with portals, yes! Now, I do have to admit that it's not all perfect and there are some issues that I experience with the mod. Ugh, ugh, look at her eyes! Oh no! I'm like Bran from Game of Thrones. Sometimes it was a bit hard to get your portal gun to shoot and land on portalable surfaces. Can I place this one? Place that one, that one's fine. Come on, place this one first maybe. There we go, okay. When you use the laser cube, it's a really odd sensation as you grab it with your hand, but you aim the laser with your head, which is actually, in my opinion, quite a clever way of figuring out how to aim it in VR. But the issue arises when you have to drop it and sort of just like hope it lands the same way you were aiming it. And it was a little bit frustrating. Okay, so now we gotta go over there. Nope, nope. There we go. Also, if you stand in between the portals, you get a rather funny effect. Oh, that is, that is weird. <laughs> what is that? And from what I've been reading on the flat to VR Discord, the co-op isn't working correctly yet, but they are actively working on it. And of course, you also get the jankiness that comes with flat screen games ported to VR. I can't hit him. Can I, I can push him over though. You can actually move away from your body in game and in cutscenes by literally walking around in real life and it kind of detaches your head. Can I do that now if I like just walk? Yeah, I'll see you later. See you guys. <laughs> but that comes with these VR mods and it's to be expected. Plus, it leads to funny moments like this. Oh! 
Oh, my arm! <laughs> my arm's broken! Uh. But let's be real here for a minute. This mod is literally brand new. It's only been out for a month, and these are the only nitpicks I can come up with for it. And I think that should tell you how well this mod works. There have already been quite a few updates to the mod to make it better. So by the time you watch this, there may have been even more improvements. For example, I know there are some in the community working on upscaling the textures for the game to 4K, for example. Would I recommend this mod if you've never played VR before? No, absolutely not. You will for sure get motion sick flying through all those portals. However, if you do already have your VR legs, I'm sure you will have an amazing time with this mod and you should definitely check it out. Can I help you guys? For me, the Portal 2 VR mod is similar to the Left 4 Dead 2 VR mod. I think that it works great, and I'm really glad there is a VR version of it out there for us to enjoy. Once again, massive thank you to the Flat to VR Discord and to Gistix for putting this mod together and making me aware of it. If you'd like to check them out, I've put a link in the description of this video to their Discord. That's all for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one later. Bye, guys.